What's going on guys? My name is Ron and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to be doing a little, little bit more practice. We're going to be doing some more color here on the old, uh, on the old army here. Uh, army say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is a real skin arm. I bought it a really long time ago. Uh, I actually did this a really long time ago as well. A long time ago as in like six months probably. Who knows? The older you get the faster time goes by, right? So, um, I was staring at it, god damn it, I was staring at it, and, um, I was like, you know, it, I think this would look pretty good with some color, especially after I put some color on this, uh, scorpion up here, and I actually had someone cancel on me today, so, well, I don't know, what do you, do you call it canceling when, uh, they don't show up, and you text them, and they let you know that they're not gonna make it, or, it's like they wouldn't even let you know that they weren't gonna come unless you texted them? Anyways, guys, enough bitching. So, long story short, they can have people put down deposits, guys, because you get all set up. You take an hour, 45 minutes to get set up, and then they don't even show up. So, we're going to be using some basic colors today uh, for the leaves. For the leaves, um, we're going to do a this lime green. And probably some of this uh, 14 karat gold on the tips. Now, um, this is only have two mom's colors, and they're both yellows. And uh, this is the only dark yellow I have, so I don't want to go through all the trouble of mixing um, my own dark yellow, just because it's a lot more. There's a lot more to it than just adding black or white. And I have a color reel here somewhere, but I just don't really feel like messing with it. And I can't find my ink mixer anywhere. So, um. That being said, for the leaves, we're going to be using that lime green and that 14 karat yellow. And then for the rose itself, we're going to be using this dark burgundy red and a magenta for the dark spots. So four cups. Uh, I put a little bit of this color, color solution. You can use shading solution, um, distilled water. I mean, if you're practicing water, you know what I mean, as long as you're just using it to practice, not tattooing actual people. Uh, I just put, I just cover the bottom of the cup with it, uh, it's like five, six drops, it just makes it a little bit easier going, you don't really need to do it dynamic, because dynamic is, is so thin, but I feel like it just, in my head it makes me feel a little bit better to use it, so, we're going to be using uh, my Cheyenne Hawk Thunder, four mil stroke, with the Peak Forge C battery works pretty well has a jump start probably running at like 7.5 volts what do I have here I have a 15 10 15 curve mag uh, shorter taper I think it's a 3.5 ELT I believe means 3.5 taper sorry 3.5 taper uh, for the big spots I have a smaller 10.7 here. This is an, or a, yeah, 10.7 here from uh, Silver Fox. These are okay. Only problem is the uh, edges here are kind of big and it's kind of hard to get into the corners with it unless you really know what you're doing. So while I'm here, let me get a cup. Let me get a cup and some water because we're going to need it. Get in here with this. We're going to start with our 10.15. We're going to fill up our cups with alcohol just because it's closest at hand here. Just fill them up with alcohol because it's closest, and I don't feel like going out there to get any water right now. But that'll be our secret. All right, so let's get plugged in here. Put our gloves on. But yeah, I figured since they didn't show up, I mean, I did tattoo Friday and Saturday. So I figured uh, since I had everything wrapped up, I might as well just get some practice in. Make a video. You guys uh, seem to like the last video. So that was cool. I appreciate that. I did a really awesome pink uh, lily flower tattoo on Friday. Turned out really, really well. So um, and I uploaded it. So if you guys want to go over there and send that, give it some love for me. 
I'd appreciate that. You know, we got like 60 something views. And, uh, which is, you know, kind of sad. It's probably, it's all, it's all down to the music you use. It just it seems if you're using a trending song, then, then it gets a shitload of views, which is whatever. Alright, so we're going to start with our darkest dark here, and that is our Magenta by Dynamic. Hold on. Let me get this fixed in here, right? Sometimes you got to push it in there. Nice push, and then it nice quarter turn. It's not in there perfectly straight, but that's going to drive me nuts, so we might as well fix it. Yeah, so quick pro tip. I'm doing a live voiceover here, guys. If you're going to buy a, a Cheyenne machine, just spend the money for the, for the Cheyenne grip. To save yourself the trouble. Because Cheyenne makes uh, their plunger ball and the machines are bigger than 90% of the other machines out there from my experience. And uh, that's how I broke my first one. We're going to hang it out there a little bit. I don't know, this arm doesn't really have any give on it, so it kind of just sucks the ink up. We're going to hang out like right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Not too far. Millimeter, maybe two. And we're gonna go in here to our, pretty much to all these spots that are, shaded in here in the corners and make it magenta. How are you guys looking? I'm trying not to hunch over on this. I usually hunch over, but if I do that, I'll block the camera, so. Now I got this battery from ultimatebeauty.com. I just did the uh, payment plan. You can do the shop pay and you just pay like four payments or whatever. And it's been working out pretty nicely. I didn't really mean to get the pink one, but. Oh well. I have a, a pink grip that uh, for my hawk and it would match it perfectly, but you don't even see the grip anyway, so. All right, so we're gonna save the uh, save that spot for some for some burgundy right there for some with some burgundy. We're not really going any. It's kind of in the darker spots, pretty much where all the sh where I have all the shade at anyway. That's where we're gonna put our magenta, brush it out a little bit.
Do a little cross hatching right there, make it a little darker. Brush it out here. That looks that looks alright to me. This magenta looks really, really good with uh, that hot pink I got as well. Throw our needles out here and use the corner. We'll get in these cracks right here. I like to throw my needle out there pretty far sometimes so I can see where the needles are hitting. Makes the uh, makes it a little bit easier to see. A little bit further. But you gotta remember to suck them back in, otherwise, if you wanna put your ink down faster, you throw your needles out there. My experience, anyway. Everyone's experience is different. Throwing the needles out there puts the ink out a little bit faster. I like to ride the tip of the cartridge and just barely hang it out there and brush it in there. Packing is one thing, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this. I'm just trying to make this all look kind of even here. Let's put some here in this corner. We'll put our needles back out there a couple clicks. This hand is really cool. Um, it does have some really odd like bumps in it, which is probably from the mold. Not bumps, but just like unnatural feeling, you know, lumps in it, which is probably just from the mold, which kind of makes it hard to stencil. But you just gotta fuck a couple up. You just gotta fuck a couple tattoos up before you start figuring it out. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Let me give you a quick shout out. To our sponsor. Oh shit. <laughs> Hug Fruit Barrels. What's your favorite flavor? Mine's the blue. So if you go down and click the link below, I'm just kidding guys. Anyways, Hug Fruit Barrels. What's up with the fucking what's up with the code? These things are delicious. These have been my favorite since I was a kid. You guys remember you used to buy these off the ice cream truck for like 50 cents? Available at Walmart. Oh, that's the good shit. Anyway, last time we talked, I was talking about how my girl had some time off because she had a minor surgery done. Well, she needed help walk, getting around and shit, getting to the bathroom, so I took some time off with her. Well, I'm getting towards... Well, she's getting better, by the way, thank God. Um, well, uh, I'm getting kind of towards the end of those days that I took off so I'm like oh man I gotta go back to regular work it was kind of nice to it's kind of nice to pretend that I didn't have to do a normal job and I was actually tattooing for a little bit but we'll get there my goal is to um, build up you know a nice client list of clients 
and that way I can, so when my girl doesn't have to work, she can stay at home. I could tattoo four or five days out of the week out of my house. And uh, maybe go to work part time one day, two days a week. And that that's the goal right here. Small, reasonable goal. Definitely doable. But I I, uh, I did three pretty uh, last three tattoos I did have been some of the best ones that I've done. So, uh, I am just hoping and praying that those tattoos are going to bring more people in here. Which it will. So, cross your fingers for me, guys. Let's, um, go back to a normal holding position here. So, I feel like the, the more straight up and down I hold this thing, the better it'll saturate. The mistake I did when I first started out of that was I was doing this one, holding it flat like this. Oh, I'm not even lined up here. I'm so sorry, guys. I was holding it flat like this, and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? I'm not getting any saturation. But when you think about it, your mags are, you're, you're, you're going to be hitting the bottom row of needles, so you're not, you know what I mean? I'll demonstrate right here for you, but I don't want to take up any more room I'm trying to get this I'd like to get some uh, background practice on this arm some smoke or whatever but I'm just waiting for something to catch my eye on Pinterest I think this is going to look pretty good, but we'll see. <laughs> may not look bad, but it also may not look good. So we'll see what's going on here. Yeah, this is a peak quartz cartridge. I've had these for a minute. These are actually the first set of bug pin cartridges I bought way back last year, early last year. Back when I was using a lining with the CNC Q6. Which is funny to think about, but I was making it work. And I bought these because I read somewhere, heard somewhere that you want to use a bug pin. Bug pins work better with with color. And then, you know, come to find out later that I hear that uh, you want to use a standard needle for color because it's these bigger holes in the skin or some shit like that. Which, yeah. I just find bug pins work better for me just because I have a really light hand as it is so less uh, effort to put the uh, ink down you know what I mean smaller needles less effort to get under the skin all that noise
Alright, so... Since I thought about it, we'll try to leave some spots in here for a white. Try to, anyway. So I kind of got used to holding my my shader like this because um, you guys can't see it because of the camera, but because this battery throws a back end weight on it, and if I'm not careful, it'll click. It's not as bad with this peak battery, but that last battery I had was super bad, and it was just really, really putting a strain on here. So I'm kind of used like my, you know, I guess more traditional people kind of hold it like that, right? But it kind of just came naturally. So, let's throw our needles out. Let's back this up just a little bit. There we go. Let's throw our needles out a little bit longer so we can get in this corner here. cleaned out here. Jump start enabled. So I'm trying to think of, I'll probably leave a little spot for some white right here. Right there on this little chubby leaf here. Maybe right here. Try to anyway. Sometimes they get a little carried away and start packing it in. Alright, so let's just start from the bottom here. Thank you. 
just take it up to, you know what? We'll keep it at 7.5, but we'll put our needles out there a little bit more farther. Tell you right now, this red is too dark. It's too dark to uh, go for. It. Wow, it looks really great on the camera. Um, the color, I mean, the change the piece of the color. I think it's too dark to go what I'm going for here, but I don't know. We'll keep going and see how it goes. Man, I probably should have used that Chinese red I got real light, and it would have. Probably would have looked a lot better. Well, probably would have worked better with that magenta. You guys know what I'm saying? We'll see. All right, let's carry on here.
Hey guys, Future on here. Just a quick reminder to go ahead and go down there and like the video. It really helps out the channel, gets these videos out there to more like-minded people like me and yourself. If you're new here, once again, my name is Ron. I do a lot of reviews. Uh, the motto is mostly reviews, sometimes tattoos. This is the Captain Ron Ink Experience. So yeah, if you like it, share it with your friends, uh, leave a comment, let me know what's going on, where you at, where you're from, all that good stuff. So back to the video. Yeah, this burgundy is absolutely beautiful. I think that's the one I'm using. Yeah, burgundy. Burgundy. I've had this one for a long time. Good old dynamic, man. It's weird, though, on the... I follow dynamic on Instagram and all the... Tattoos he's showing there are all just like black, like micro portraits or like pointillism, pointillism pieces. It's like, what's going on here? They don't like, you don't like show off their own colors or what? can't really see that magenta. I'm sure if this is, you know, an actual client skin, then it would probably, when it heals, it would probably, the magenta would probably heal through the red. But, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not some color expert, hell, I'm not an expert at all, but it's just... This is why we do this. You practice in that way. You can tell. I first off, I definitely should have used a lighter red. I think that would have yielded some better results. The burgundy and the magenta are too close to each other to pick out, you know? That and the shading, I put it right where the shading's at. I think it would have stood a better chance if I were to put it in some better spots. Some spots that doesn't have the shading, you know? more ink here. So this battery I got says it will hold it will tattoo up to 10 hours. I usually tattoo at lower voltages anyway so so we'll see. So we can, you know, there's always like 
fully saturated and then there's like not fully saturated and you can always play with that too but I don't know but this you know maybe go fully saturated on the edges and you know a couple passes on the you know the high parts kind of play with it that way as well but these hands have weird bumps in them man so it's kind of hard you know what I mean it's not like a I don't know. I'm not going to say it like a hand, but I haven't tattooed a whole lot of hands, but. It has like these weird little tiny bumps in it, like, you know. It's hard to explain, but. Unnatural, like, bumps. Which I originally, I got this arm so I could practice. I, I was going to put a, or I would put a piece of fake skin over the arm. And then I would like practice my lining, like, you know, over like curves to simulate like curvature. But I eventually ran out of fake skin and I just got, I was so broke I, didn't, I couldn't afford it anymore. I just started tattooing this thing. Started tattooing the arm itself. been sitting on my shelf for months. Hell, I can't see none of that magenta. Oh, well. Ooh, that's why we practice, guys. That is why we practice. So I recently switched my blacks out. Um, I kept noticing that at the end of my tattoos that my liners would my the black in my liners would dry out 
really, really fast, it seemed, and, um, really, really fast, it seemed like, so, I thought maybe it's that blackout that I'm using that would, uh, was making it, you know, dry out, and then, like, they would, the, the ink would stick to my needle, and it was, like, it would make it, like, instead of a three-liner, it would make it, like, a fucking five-liner or something, you know? So we're going to use that lime green. We're going to use some of this yellow here to maybe put around the edges. Maybe just in the very tips.
All right, let's take our little seven here. Itty bitty little guy. Going with his yellow. Let's see what we can do. Oopsie daisy. Have, these cartridges have that really thick edge, so it's kind of hard to. It's not difficult, but you just got to get used to it. Where the edge is at, and where your needles are actually making contact. You guys know what I'm saying? Especially if you're 
use just certain carts and switch it up to these ones. You know, they're all different, so. That's why it's always good to find a cart that you like and just stick with it, you know what I mean? You get used to it, you learn how they work and what they can handle. Well, I like how the leaves turned out. Rose is a little dark. I should have used a lighter red, but you know, that's why we practice. That's what, that's what we'll do next time. We'll take this information. We'll take this information and carry it on to our next tattoo. Cool. So just to follow up, what I used was Dynamic Burgundy Red. RD4. Dynamic Magenta, MD1, Dynamic Lime Green, LYM, and Mom's 14 karat gold. This is my Cheyenne Hawk Thunder 4mm stroke with my Peak Forge wireless battery. This is a real skin arm. Cool. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this. I know I did. If you guys have any questions, just holler at me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.